back we're going to do some more 3d design in tinkercad um, this time we're going to do a boat so go into tinkercad and we go out to your um, kind of your main space under your account name and then let's click create a new design create a new design now we're in here as always it it defaults it to some crazy name or we're going to save it under a new name so we're going to call it uh, 3d boat and now it'll save it under a good name okay so under basic shapes then we have featured shape generators look we have a boat hull in here we can bring that boat hull out look what that does it's a solid object that um, kind of comes down to a, a point and it's a boat so let's do kind of the same thing we did earlier let's make it uh, some shape let's make this one a little bit bigger 100 by um, Thirty. Yeah, let's make this a little bit bigger than that. Forty by thirty. Okay. So we have our hull of our boat, and uh, maybe we want to go into our basic shapes. And in basic shapes, um, maybe we don't want it to look like a canoe. Maybe we want to block off the back end. And by blocking up the back end, we'll take that and this, and we'll group that together, a hole and a solid, and boom, it makes the back end go away. Great. Now, maybe we don't want it to be as pointy in the bottom, so we take this boat, this this uh, box, and we bring it down to um, Let's say two, three, three, and we make this a really big space that we slide underneath that boat. Now let's look around. Does it touch it everywhere? It looks like it does. Sure looks like it does. Okay, very good. Nothing sticking out from behind. So we take that and this and we group that together. Now, I have more of a flat bottom on my boat, which make it stand up and print a little bit easier. I like that. Um, with that, my boat's floating up in there. Remember, I click on it and hit the D, letter D, and it drops it. Boom. Now that's sitting on the work plane, sitting down at the bottom. Very good with that. Okay. So um, maybe this is a very simple sailboat. Um, but I can do some other things here. Let me take this and let me duplicate it. Now I have two of these shapes. Let me pick this one up. Um, eight, and now let me take this box and let me uh, leave four on the outside this time. So let me take eight off. That's 22 by uh, 97. Okay, 89. Okay, so I'm going to make that a hole. I'm going to kind of hollow out our boat. And this, I have both selected. I'm going to align them here and here. And then I'm going to group them. And now you can see, oh, I have... Uh, I kind of hollowed out uh, my boat there. Very good. Okay, now let's say I want to make it kind of a sailboat. So I take a cylinder. This is a solid cylinder, and I'm going to make it uh, this is my mast. It might look a little thick. Let me uh, go into make it eight by eight. There we go. And now I can put it in place. I can even use the keys to go up and down. Still looks a little bit thick, doesn't it? Let me go six by six. 
six by six. I think I've got it. Let me go up a little bit. Okay. Oh, I smushed it. All right. See, Command Z undoes, undo, undo. Command Z will save you sometimes. Seven by seven. That'll be good enough. Let me make it taller. Okay. Does that look better? And we can see that it goes, it, it's flush on the bottom with the other part of the boat, but that's fine. That's exactly what we want. And now, where are we going to make the sail? The sail would probably be a triangle shape. Well, the, we have a roof. A roof's a triangle shape, right? Okay, we have to make sure what we're doing here. Okay, we have this. Let's make this. Five in that direction and whatever in that direction. And what does it take to make that thing stand up? We can actually go this way and make it uh, yeah, that's the wrong one there we go so we have to come in down here and, and zoom in the face because we want to make sure we're going the right place until that I'm going to pick that up in the air It's kind of floating out there. Now, we're might going to get in trouble because this angle is a little bit too steep. Let me bring it down and, and make that angle. There we go. Maybe that'll print. We will we'll have to see if that holds together on the print. So now I have that, my sail, and my mast, the mast and the boat. And maybe we want to give it a name to this boat. So here we bring out the text. Here's the name. And here's the trick we're going to do with this. So what are we going to call this? Um, um, sister sail. All right, sister sail, right? And we're going to go in and now we want to, let's say we want to stamp that in the side of the boat. Well, we're going to need to make it smaller first. Now, if we look at this, we see these little um, arrows that are curved. I can take that and I can spin that do that I don't want to do that okay so I want to take this let me take this first the boat part was good so I have the mast and the sail and the boat and let me group those okay that's one color that's all together that looks good okay let me take the stamp I want to take the stamp and I want to put it onto the side of the boat the letters are still a bit big we need to bring it in a little bit. Bring it down just, just a hair. There we go. Now I'm going to turn that into a hole. Pick those up so it looks about right. And let me spin this around so I can see what I'm doing. There. See what I'm doing now? I'd actually like to have that maybe on a little bit of an angle. There we go. And I can stamp that into the side of the boat and group it together. Let's see, what does that look like? 
sister sail. Ah, oh, but the front curved away, so I didn't get the whole S on there. So let me undo that. Take that. Spin this around. Move it in a little bit deeper. Then do the group. And now it says it. So there I have my boat. So we made an odd shape. We rotated things. We lifted things up in the air. We took letters and made them holes and stamped them into solids. And all that equated to uh, what we wanted. Now we made sure it's all grouped together. We move it all here, make sure it's all good. We hit D to drop it, make sure it's on the bottom. And then we export it as an STL. And we have our boat design. And hopefully that helps you out. Very good.